Ready? Testing, testing. Yes? Hey! Welcome to another edition of You Can't Handle the Tooth. This is Dr. J, the Real Floss Boss, coming at you with another live Facebook uh, show for you. Uh, thanks again to all of you who watch our, uh, our the series that we have. We appreciate it. We're going to do something a little different today. Uh, we're going to actually do a live patient thing. All right. So I wanted to talk about a concept first before we get into this, and that is there's this subject in dentistry called biologic width. You can Google it, but basically, whenever you have a crown done uh, or a filling, um, and it's near the gum line or under the gum line. It's important that the restoration, the filling or the crown, stays a certain distance away from the bone. Whenever, so you have, um, you have the tooth that comes out of the bone, and you've got the gums right here, but in there is a little pocket, and if you go all the way down to the bone, there's this measurement that you make from the bone to the gum. And if that restoration goes down and violates this width, called the biologic width, it can cause the gums to be irritated, red, sometimes even tender, and uh, it's uh, pretty easy to diagnose, but uh, it's often overlooked. And uh, so we're going to talk about that today. We have with us our stellar, outstanding, fabulous, fantastic hygienist, Holly. I want to introduce Hi. to you guys. You're going to see some more of her because I think we're going to get each of our employees to do a little, uh, a little segment for Facebook Live. But we're gonna, she thinks that she may have a biologic width problem. So, we're good, yes? Yes. So she's given us permission to, to talk about her case. She has a couple of very good looking uh, crowns on these front teeth, and um, one of them has a little bit of red, irritated gums that's been that way for how long? Years. Years. And uh, so we're trying to figure that out. Could be lots of things, right? It could be extra cement that's underneath the gum. It could be a fracture that's in the tooth. Could be, right? Yeah. We hope not. Um, uh, and, and it could be this biologic width issue. So that's all we're going to do today is we're going to test for that. So I'm going to get her numb. You're going to see some clinical stuff. So if you're not into that, this is not the episode for you. Okay? Look away. Look away. So we're going to get her numb. She's already had some topical put on. We have to get her numb, unfortunately, on the front and on the palate. So we're going to do that. You can watch us do that up close. And then... Um, then we are going to do a little test with a little measuring device to see if perhaps the biologic width has been violated. Okay? We can't have a violation with a biologic width, right? That's not no good. Not good. All right, so we're going to lay Holly back. Someone needs to sing or rap or something, right? I'm going to let you do that. The rapping dentist? I could do it. Don't tempt me. I would do it. <laughs> the bun fun one. What? The bun fun. The, the oh, I don't know. The one Becca used to do. <laughs> I like big amalgams. <laughs> All right. So before we do this, why don't you come in here and take a look. And make sure we get the lighting right if I need to take this lighting off so you can see where she's talking about. So, see, these are the two crowns. They are beautiful, whoever did them. So, uh, But this gum here looks nice and healthy, and you can see, thank you, how it's just a little red right along here. Okay? That's what we're going to evaluate today by measuring. We're going to find where exactly this crown ends and where the bone is. So we're gonna do some measurements today and see if the, that is a problem. Well, hey. Well, hi. This is Katie. Hi. Can you see Evan? Mm -hmm. You lie. Get a little up in here. This is actually a really tender area to get numb, but Holly's a champ. Hey, Whitney. Whitney's on? <laughs> yeah, Whitney's watching. What up, Whit Whit in the house? All right, you don't need very much, just a little bit there. The interesting thing, though, is the biologic with violation can be anywhere on the circumference of the tissue, so we have to check all of the areas, all right? So now 
The one that's a little more pinchy, right? Right on the palate. Chin up just a little bit. There's no light in there. Thank you, Meg. Dr. Andy's watching. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. You okay? Mm-hmm. You mad at me? Mm-mm. You lie. Mm-mm. All right, very cool, very cool. You're going to rinse. Look. You're not. Mm-hmm. Let me show you this real quick. I don't know if you can see this good. Does this show up good? Mm -hmm. Let me see that explorer. All right, so in this diagram, this is the tooth, this is the gums, and this is the pocket. The hygienists always check with a little probe and they give you measurements, 323, 323 or whatever, measuring the health of your gums. Then there is this little attachment where the tissue is attached to the tooth, right here. Okay, so this is the pocket, and here's where the attachment is, and then here's where the bone is. So what we're gonna do with our probe, normally we go to about right here, just checking the, to where the attachment is, how deep the pockets are, but this time we're gonna go down to the bone. First, we're gonna find out where the crown and the tooth meet, and then we're gonna go down to the bone, and that is the big distance that we need to measure today. All right, and that's going to tell us our biologic width. The numbers we're looking for, we like two millimeters. 1.5 sometimes can do it. Is that in your, in your eyeball? Just a little bit. See, Megan can sing it. Do <laughs> it. All right. Ready? You like this light on there, Evan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Was this too much light, Evan? No, it's good. All right. So first thing we're going to do is find out where the margin of this crown is. Right there. Do you want to hold my hand? Uh-uh. -uh. Right there. It's about a millimeter under the gum. And so what we're going to do is go straight to the bone. You okay? Mm -hmm. See that goes down to about four right there. So that's fine. Right here. Goes to about four. A little gauze there for me. So right there's the margin, I can feel it. So if we're about two millimeters into the tissue there for the margin, and we go to the bone, about five or about two millimeters, maybe one and a half there. Here again is a margin right there, which is about two millimeters in. And we're going to the bone, right about four, just shy of four. Two millimeters in, about four. Barely, barely there on the facial. We can see the margin back here. Okay. The issue is definitely not on the lingual. There's plenty of room. I just, just put a little water on that for me. I don't know if you can see in the mirror, but here's where the margin is. So you got about a millimeter here, and then plenty of depth down there. So we're, we're at least two millimeters back here on the on the palate. No problem. So it's definitely 
The only real issue is here on the front. And I think we're less than two millimeters here. We're down about two millimeters for the margin. And then right there's the bone. Where that big black line starts is four. And you can see we're just short of that. Right, there's the margin. I think that's the problem. Over here is plenty of room, but right in here is where the violation is. It's less than two millimeters. All right, so how do you fix it, right? What does it mean? There's, <laughs> there's, there's a couple of ways to fix it. One, There's only one great way to fix it, and that is a procedure that's called crown lengthening. And what you do is where the bone is, where the crown comes up and ends, and where the bone starts up here, we have to raise that bone just a little bit. So this part of the tooth is called the crown, and we're going to lengthen the crown. So the procedure is called, wait for it, crown lengthening. So we'll lengthen the crown just a little bit. All we need is about a millimeter. Uh, and I'll bet that tissue will pinken up just perfectly. But that's what we were testing for today. It looks like there's definitely a violation right there. Could there still be a fracture or something in there? There could be. Wasn't there trauma on these teeth a while back? There were. So we're going to probably get a, uh, a cone beam on it at some point in the very near future to check and see exactly if there's a fracture or not. But in the meantime, Stay tuned. yeah, in the meantime, we're definitely going to do a little bit of this crown lengthening on there and see if that doesn't make a difference. All right, that is your Facebook Live for today. This is Dr. J, the Floss Boss, saying thanks for signing in today and watching. We appreciate it. Please keep the questions coming. Um, this is a more technical one, may not have the interest of a lot of people, but you may wonder why your tissue might get red around some crowns if you think you're doing everything right. And as a hygienist, she's, she's doing really good with her home care and she's still having this red issue. So. We will we'll follow up on it, though. So we'll give it a little while to heal, and then we'll get some more pictures and post it later. But thanks for signing in. Until next time, thanks for logging into You Can't Handle the Tooth. We'll see you next week.